Hey everyone, it's Siobhan. Um, today's hair idea was inspired by the History Channel show Vikings and the character of Lagertha. I've actually got three videos up that are similar to the style that I'm going to show you today. Um, the braid wheel, the Grecian braid wheel, and then there's a hairstyle by um, which was inspired by Emma Watson. Um, and I'll have them all linked in the underbar below if you'd like to check them out. I think the one that was inspired by Emma Watson is actually the most similar to the one that I'm going to show you today, except that in this version I am going to use some hair extensions because her hairstyle covers the entirety of her head and I just didn't have enough hair for that. So um, I'm going to be using some clip-in hair extensions. This video is also going to incorporate a few kinds of braids. Um, there's going to be a French lace braid, a French braid, and a braid that I've been calling the caterpillar braid, and I'll have a link to a video that I did recently um, with an explanation of how to do it if you don't already know how. Um, but it's not necessary, you can just stick to regular braids if you'd rather. Um, and yeah, that's it. So like all the Lagertha styles, there are three panels, the three initial panels. So the one here, here, and here. And I'm going to start by making the one at the top. So I've started by taking this large chunk of hair. I've got a section here in this hand. I'm going to split it in three and I'm going to create a French lace braid by taking hair from along my hairline and adding it to the outermost strand. Um, I'm not going to include all of the hair that's in this section in this braid, so you'll see what I mean in a second. I actually found a video that um, I'll have linked in the underbar too of the stylist um, and some of the actresses talking about their hairstyles and one of the things that they mention is how the, the stylist backcombs the ends of the braids um, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to use small clear elastics to tie them all. See I sectioned this large piece of hair but I've only created a braid with like half of it um, because I only added from my hairline. And with this back section, I'm going to make another lace braid going from my right to the left, and I will show you um, that too. I'm going to use all of this hair in this braid though. So I'm still adding the hair to the topmost strand, the strand that's closest to my forehead, um, but to do that, I'm going to gather a whole section um, instead of just like, you know, a piece from the front. I'm gathering the whole thing. If that makes sense. The next thing is to make the side panels. You can see it's kind of more of like a rectangular section on the side and I'm just going to use another claw clip to just keep this side out of my way. I noticed on the actress that these little side braids are very very detailed um, so that means what I mean by that is that they've taken really really small sections um, going into the braid and it is a French braid. These are rectangular pieces and this was kind of like a rounded one and so I have loose hair that's covering the side braids and so what I'm gonna do is just section like a piece of it from the side on either side and make a caterpillar braid um, to begin to add some texture to this hairstyle. At this point I have two lace braids in the front, two French braids which I've pulled back and I've got two caterpillar braids on either side and between the caterpillar braids I have this section of hair here at the top of my head so I've made a small section and I'm gonna make another lace braid this time going from left to right. One of the reasons I like lace braids so much is because you only add hair to one strand um, one side of it and that leaves the other side completely free so when you pin things up you can tuck the ends of little braids underneath these sections here underneath and it hides really well um, and also like you can see here how it kind of raises or it's raised a little bit so it adds a little bit of volume to and some texture to a hairstyle um, to a braided hairstyle that might otherwise just be a little bit more flat. So now I've sectioned um, a piece here in the back um, and I've tried to make the line as uh, straight as possible and this is where I'm going to start to add in some of my clip-in hair extensions um, and I'm going to use the single wefts. 
I do have a few that have like the four clips or the two clips, but this space here at the back of my head is too small for these very wide um, wefts. So that's why I'm going to use these single ones, and I'm going to use a total of four of them. So yes, I know this looks absolutely dreadful right now, um, but I'm not worried about it because as soon as everything's braided and then tied up, uh, you won't see any of that. I just needed the hair, the extra hair, because um, I didn't have enough. I'm going to split it in two, and I'm going to do a caterpillar braid on either side. I actually just did a review on my other channel of these hair extensions and they're great. I really like them a lot. Um, they're a bit too long for my hair, but I did choose them um, because of that. I felt like these would be perfect for hairstyles like this. Sometimes I just don't have hair that's long enough and just the tail end of a little braid will fill in a space that my hair might not otherwise reach, um, which is why they're so damn long. But um, I kind of like them. <laughs> I had one section left, which I divided in half, um, and the top portion was a little bit thinner. This section here is actually relatively thick, but I'm going to make it thicker by adding two two-clip wefts of hair to it. Now I have a pretty big chunk to work with, and um, I am going to divide it into three. I'm going to make two three-strand braids on the outside, and then one caterpillar braid on the inside. So with that little section that I had, I made one more caterpillar braid. Um, you can see it looks terrible, doesn't it? But I promise that it won't look so horrible at the end. And I've taken my first, um, my first, or my second lace braid, and I've laid it across my head here in this space. And that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. It's just using the braids to fill in the spaces, uh, be making little shapes with them. Um, it's really up to you how you want to pin your own hair. Um, I think that's why I like these hairstyles so much because they, they change, they're so different all the time. Um, every time you do them, they look different. I used pins to keep my hair up, to put the braids up. But um, I suspect that the stylists used a needle and thread to do it, um, to try and be a little bit more authentic to a Viking woman. And I've got a sort of copper colored embroidery thread and a plastic sewing needle. And I'm just going to, um, I guess, put it through my hair and see how it turns out. This is the end of my video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!